Welcome to the third match of Candle Pin Bowling, presented by Candle Pins for Cancer, the charity and tournament put together by Hall of Famer Al Johnson. My name is Greg Guyar, filling in for Jeremy Seaholm, who's under the weather, and alongside me, Richie Myrick. And Richie, we've had some great matches, and coming up now, we have Dom Drake, whose first time on TV went very well, against Dan Chenard. Oh, you've got that right, uh, Greg. We have Dom Drake and Dan Chenard. We're uh, going to have both of our bowlers come up. Give them a nice round of applause. And here we are. Uh, Dom, you, you bowled fantastic in the last match. We'll get to you in a moment, but we're going to find out about our challenger in Dan Chenard. Dan, you bowled fantastic in the uh, uh, preliminary rounds in the roll-off. Uh, 174, is that right, uh, to bowl your way into the match? Yes, that was amazing, yeah. All over the head pin, it was fun. Well, I, ho I hope you can uh, uh, control that and, and bring that into this match, and I'm looking forward to having you here. So, anything more? Uh, nope, I hope it's a good match. All right. yep. Awesome, thank you, Dan. Appreciate you having you here. And, uh, Greg, uh, more with uh, Dom, please. Thanks, Richie, and good luck to you, Dan. Dom Drake, first time on TV. It seemed to go pretty smoothly. How are you settling in amid of the lights and everything? Um, just trying to stay consistent, be ready to bowl, and throw the ball the same way I did, and hopefully the pins fall over the same way. Good luck. Whoever wins this match moves on to the final match and will guarantee themselves at least $1,000. So we have that to look forward to. Lots of great bowling, and we'll, get right to, uh, we'll start right away in just a moment. Semi-final of the stepladder, Dom Drake. Here we go. The winner of the previous match up on lane 33 here at Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire. <laughs> Al Johnson situated on the foul line. Matt Susi by the scoreboard. And we're off and running. Dom Drake by the head pin. Leaves the 2, 5, and 8. Going to have to make it clean here. Spinning wood doesn't quite take it. That was a nice bit off the wall. First box, no sign of the jitters at all. Three very good balls. He's got the spread eagle minus the seven here. Boy, is he ever working hard here. And a 10 again, back Absolutely to back. professional 20 pins. Three great balls right where you wanted. And that'll bring up Dan Chenard. Chenard also qualified with the same 654 that Dom Drake did. But is the second seed by virtue of his highest string, 174 in the fifth, to propel him into the second seed, let alone on the show at all. Dan Chenard out of Peabody, Massachusetts. High single 183, high triple 438. And a high five of 676. He bowls out of Central Park Lanes as well as Metro Bowl, where Joe Taverny's recently retired from. Happy retirement to you. Likewise for me, Joe T. Appreciate you, bud. A great bowler. A great manager of Metro Bowl. A real gentleman. I really don't think I've ever met anyone that has anything to say that isn't positive about Joe Tavernis. Fantastic bowler, fantastic guy.
Drake's try against the four horsemen in the eight pin. Two down, and now just the three remaining. Well pinned, going for the cluster on Very the Very well side. pinned. Now, uh, that's a professional move. You could play the head pin there and take your medicine, and maybe you only get seven. You could find the curtain, but instead, he elects to take the two for a nine box early here in the match. Only left the one pin standing through the first three boxes. Piece of wood against the head pin. Looked like he placed it well, Richie, but the ball caromed one way and the pin the other. Seven box brings him up to 36 for four. And that'll bring up Dan Chenard. Got the head pin on the second ball. Responds in kind with a good third ball of his own. See which bowler is going to break the ice here. Six pin tumbles late. Side saddle triangle. Three, five, and nine. Ten box to bring Dan the man, as he calls himself, 37 for four. 37 for, through four, good enough for a one pin lead. Both bowlers trying to break the ice here. Here comes Dom Drake. Crunched into the pocket. Three and one split. No wood to speak of. And a seven box for a 43 half. So back to back sevens for Dom. Neither bowler really to really ready to break the ice yet. And uh, that'll break it. <laughs> what a strike by Dom Drake. Let's take another look at this one. Fantastic ball. Nine the last to fall. So 53 plus the next two balls. But first, here's Dan Chenard. Now, piece of wood in the middle there. He got on the head pin and took out the center cluster. Nothing went to the left. Everything but the seven there, Greg. And a 10. A big 10. We'd like to thank again Lita Lanes for being such great hosts. Lexi, Matt, and all the staff. And if you want to enjoy Lita Lanes yourself, they're at 340 Amherst Street in Nashua, New Hampshire. Lots of bowling, arcade games, great food and drinks at the Den, Kegler's Den, and Lita's Lighthouse as well. In Nashua, New Hampshire, and, uh, you can check out more information at LitaLanes.com. Big third ball coming up here. Just four for Dan. Gives him 51. And that's the break. After six boxes with two bonus balls still to be rolled, Dom Drake has 53 and a strike fill, and Dan Chenard, 51. We'll be right back. Here's Dom Drake on a strike fill. Leading by two pins plus this. And on the strike fill, does he get the seven? Not quite. Wiggled the seven. Hmm. 
Treacherous Wood in the channel. He's got it for the spare on strike. Candlepin Bowling is proudly presented by Candlepins for Cancer. This candle... This candlepin ball will drop six. Candlepin Bowling is proudly presented by Candlepins for Cancer. This charity supports bowlers and their family members who are fighting cancer with money to help pay for treatment and bills. Since its inception, the charity has given away over $12,000 to those in need. Electronic donations via candlepinsforcancer.com will soon be accepted. For the time being, if you wish to donate, please send a check to 467 High Street, number 8, Hampton, New Hampshire, 03842. Candlepinsforcancer.com with a 4 on Candlepins for Cancer. Thank you. After a tough start, Jannard rebounds nicely with two more on the third ball for an eight box and a 59 through seven. Comes back on the one two and he didn't leave much more than that. Cluster of five on the right with one on the left. Slim pickings here for Dan. Settles for seven. Those two marks and pinning from Drake creating the difference. 22 pin lead through eight boxes. Two and one split. Settles for nine. 97 through nine. Tom Drake from Brewer, Maine. Blows out six of the candles. It's one, two, four, and nine. What to the side? Could that help the shot? Can't hurt. Oh, it tripped on the wall. Well, wow, maybe I lied. Uh, maybe it did hurt after all there, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I think it may have gone cleanly. And he, he cleans it up nicely. Unfortunate. Well, if 107 is Dom Drake when he's unlucky, I wonder what's coming next. Dan Chenard gets a big hit That's on the head pin. Ben. There's a strike to kick start it. Three and two. Try for three and see what you get. Whoa, okay, how about four? Could be big pins after all. So satisfying watching the six and 10 pin fall in tandem like that. It's a really nice 10. A, a nine on the fill and a 10 after all. That's a, a really nicely done. Only a dozen pins in it. That's only two marks difference and still two strings to go. Dom Drake wins $25 for winning the first string and string two is coming up next after this. String number two, the higher seed leads off. Here's Dan Chenard. He's got to leave early. He might be able to work with. One, two, seven, and ten. Just a two-pinner. 
We'll see, and it is. Pints were tough to come by in the first string, and meanwhile, a mark in the first. And Chenard may be getting the breaks he's looking for. The fill's good as well. Five. Yeah, on second look, he didn't actually hit the head pin on that one. He had it snap a little bit hitting that two pin. Fantastic shot, if he was playing it there. Dan, the man gets another 10, 25 through two. I'd be in remiss if I didn't mention it was Bob Fouracre's nickname for the late, great Dan Murphy. Drink a thunderous mix. Makes the nine pin. Wait a second. Let's see what he chooses to do here. Three, six, seven, and ten. Pin wheels the wood. And gets pins on every ball for a nine box. Six was the fill and a nine box for 25 for two. Chenard against the 1, 2, 8, and 10. Leaves just the 10. And a, and a foul ball drops in the channel. A 9 box. Still early yet. 34 to Dom Drake's 25. Off to the left. He's got the 1, 3, 6, 7, and 9. Goes outside, goes like one. Forty four and a ball through four. Drake with a thunderous head pin hit of his own, but a spread eagle. Wow, turns into a 10. A beautiful 10. Cutting the pin across. Got on the head pin the second time. Soffer. Big pins, all important pins. And here comes Dan working on the mark. Triangle number two for Dan Chenard, the two, four, and five. against the tricky triangle gets an eight box. Up, oh, got a late kick there. Got the one three now. 
Could be a huge break. And he makes it. 69 and a ball through six. It's a big swing there. There it goes on replay. Now, the margin has gone down to six pins, and there is a spare working, so Drake will want to respond. Settles for nine. And he may have to settle for more. Tough first ball. Oh, but a good second ball. Sure was. To come back and take five more. Drake may have lost his balance slightly at the line. A nine box. And going into the break with a bonus ball still to be rolled by Dan Shinard. The score, 69 to 63, through six boxes of the second string. We'll be right back. Dan Shinard stepping up to fill a spare with a chance to tie this match. <laughs> On the one two, he leaves the. The six, seven, nine, ten. Triangle plus one. Gonna try the triangle. The right idea. And an eight. Tough to jump these brand new spins off, brand new pins off of their spots. Spins. Brand new spins. <laughs> <laughs> These pins need to do some spins right now. Oh, that'd be happy for Dan if you if you could spin one up here with the three and six. Laid that nicely in there. Never a doubt on that. Puts a little pressure back on Dom Drake. Four spares now for Shenard, a chance with a little more, could get into the 120s. With a good fill, even. Can Drake make something out of this? One, two, nine, ten. Play the two pinner and see what happens. Well, plays the one pinner and sees what happens. That's a good out right there. Putting the two into the nine. Solid nine. Close match, but against another spare now. Looked good going down. Eight, 10. Eight, 10, but with that wood there, anywhere south of the red line, uh, a little too high. I think that's where he placed it. Smacked off the channel wood in a nine box. Shenard a chance now to fill for the lead. Our number Use the door seed. right right open for him. Aside from bowling, his hobbies are card collecting and mini golf. The fill is four, and his lead is four. Oh, and he makes it. Isn't that leaf pretty when it goes, Richie? It sure is. <laughs> One, the, two, four, six, eight, ten. Excuse me. The old DC special. Spare fill. Of course, you make a shot like that, and you leave a two and one. That four pin got a lot of encouragement, but it just wouldn't drop. Puts an honest bid on it. 
boy, big pin here. And a big string for Dan Chenard, 124. Check mark right side for Dom Drake. Got a sidewall bounds. Will that 10 pin go down, please? Guess Ooh. not. We might remember that one. Match like this, you sincerely never know. 13 pins, the difference through completed boxes. It's outside, it's a nice bid. He's getting the head pin. The head pin just doesn't want to explode off of its spot, unfortunately. But an eight box brings up a 97 string and a two string total of 204. Dan Chenard wins the string $25 and has a 15 pin lead going into string number three. We'll be back for the conclusion in just a moment. <laughs> string number three, Dom Drake with 15 pins to make up. Winner in last week's match versus Chris Merrill. Four down to start, Richie, but an interesting configuration. Uh, he's got a fun one to start. One, three, four, seven, nine, and ten. Try the two pinner and see what happens. Everything but the seven. That got an audible gasp from the crowd. Gets his 10. Now, a chance here with the 3, 5, and 10. And Drake gets it. Shot. 3, 5, 10. Nice and clean. Would have gone without the wood. Shenard starts off, washes out six pins. He's got the one, two, nine, and ten. Gave it a good bid. Ten to start, and now Chenard has a three, six, seven, eight, ten. Three perfect boxes from our bowlers collectively to start it off. This will pose a challenge. Oh, what a tremendous make! Nicely done. Three into two. Couple of tens, couple of spares. Here's Drake. Eight fill on his spare. Carries the two pinner. Wasting no time on 34. And the, uh, go ahead. Oh! Tremendous.
tremendous split conversion. 4-10 by Bot. You're going to want to see this replay again and again. Dan drops nine. And I should mention that Dom Drake has three consecutive spares, which is $25 in bonus money. Every mark after that will be worth $25 as well. But Shenard and nine drop and a chance to respond. Got the cap on the second ball and the pin on the third ball. Now that's hard to do. You, you hit the cap and not carry the pin and not have the cap or, or not have the ball carry the pin. It just trickled back into the, into the channel, you know? Easily one of the least satisfying sounds in bowling. Yeah. Shenard does very well to make this diamond. And a good nine. Drake on a spare. Carries the 10. For more bonus money, it will not happen. It's a nine box there for Don Drake. Up to the left, he's got the one, three, and 10. Another one of those darned overcuts. Richie, they're doing almost well enough with the angle there. Trying to send them over there, Greg. Dan gets forward to begin. Again, alongside Richie Myrick. My name is Greg Guyar, and it's a pleasure to be here on behalf of the entire Alley Chat team. It's a pleasure to have you watching as well on YouTube. Make sure to subscribe and please like the video as well. And we look forward to seeing you for this, the final match, and for more great Candlepin content. Don't forget, Tournament of Champions coming up soon. One more ladder after this, and then the ultimate ladder for all that prestige. Red Eagle for Chenard. Good second and third. Good third ball. So it was a solid nine box from Dan. Match is very close, and this third string is brought to you by. Alley Chat without commercials. Please subscribe to the channel. And besides these great episodes of Candlepin Bowling presented by Candlepins for Cancer, you can watch vintage matches all the way back to the 70s. Subscribe to the Facebook page for live Friday night Pro League matches, including these two guys, and so much more. A quality 10 box for Drake brings him up to 93. Three pin margin through completed boxes as we go down the stretch. Oh, a backdoor strike. Well then. So a chance to grow the lead for Drake. But 
Chenard, two boxes in hand. Outside of the 3-6, who knows? This Seemingly routine set, two pinner, go ahead. The six and the 10 now, and he sneaks by it, it's a nice shot. Treacherous pieces of wood on either side. Waste no time. The one-two pocket, and that's he didn't get much more than that, Greg. He's got the diamond on the on the right and the seven pin with no wood to speak of. Unlucky to make thin contact. He's had this diamond and seven leave, and this time a third ball is required to get the pins he needs. Got two object pins out of his three balls, which comes away with a seven. Now, Dom Drake, strike filling for the lead, basically. One pin match here. He's gonna take a little extra time. Can't say I blame him here. Got a lot at stake here. On the strike. Wait a second, not so bad with the one, two, and nine. Any way to find the head, the head pin here? You almost want to throw the spread eagle ball. Ball jumps in front of the nine. That ball stayed on the plate. I thought for a it moment did. it was going to, for a hot second, it was going to get its way over to the nine. Still, good nine, oh. Phil. Well negotiated against that piece of wood. And it's a 10 pin lead. 122 plus this box. And he'll have to work for every pin here. It's gonna force Dan to make at least a mark with a big fill. And now this is a huge ball. Now how big will that fill require? He needs at least two here. Wow, two, and it was almost, <laughs> he almost caught the other two. One. With that ball, uh, 130, yep. 130 for a 334 triple. And Dan Chenard. Gonna need a spare eight or two spares, something like that. He's off to a good start. He's got the three, five, and six. He's gonna have to make a triangle. Oh, got and he's it. got it, and he's got it. And now Greg, he's gonna ha he's gonna require a decent fill here or a second mark. Nine should do it. His try. Box ten washes out five. So that. Well, I've got it's him at four, four, it's four there. It's he, a four fill. He's I apologize. He's gonna have to make it. He's gotta make it. And it is now mathematical. Dom Drake will be your winner of this semifinal ladder match. Dom Drake is going to go to the finals here. 106, 325 for Dan Chenard, and it's a nine pin win for Dom Drake. Moving his way up the ladder, two wins. We'll be back to say hi to the bowlers and thank you all very much for watching. We'll be back with the post game interviews in just a moment. The semifinals are complete. This is Candle Pins for Cancer, Candle Pin Bowling, and Richie, this house giveth and this house taketh away. What a tough grind that was, and a tough, well-fought victory for Dom Drake. Yeah, it absolutely was. Dom was a fantastic bowler the entire three strings, uh, again, carrying over from his last match. And uh, let's bring up Dan Trenard, uh, who is our, our runner-up here, here today. I mean, we can't say enough about Dom. He bowled really well, but you were all over the head pin there, Dan, and uh, a, a few unfortunate breaks. You really pinned ve uh, very well, and uh, we have $525 for you uh, for coming up in, uh, in third place today. And uh, your thoughts on the match? Um, I was I was hitting the head pin, but then I missed it a lot and had some crappy leaves. So, oh well, good, good luck to Drake. All right, fair enough. Well, we appreciate you coming down and supporting Candle Pins for Cancer. It's really nice to have you here. Thanks. I'll see you in a few run next time.
Yep. I'm sure we will, Dan. I'm sure we will. Uh, a, a great bowler in Dan Chenard, and uh, awesome. We're, we're going to see uh, Dom Drake next week, and we'll see in the finals, I suppose, huh? The big one's coming up next, Richie. I'm looking forward to this one. So until next week on Alley Chat for the entire Alley Chat crew and Richie Myrick, my name is Greg Guyar. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. So long.